Hello and welcome to Quantum IAS. This is the first question regarding the daily answer writing practice. Now, quickly look at the analysis of this question. So, this question is basically from the mechanics module. Okay, in mechanics module, you can say the variable mass system. that we have studied under the conservation of linear momentum. Okay, so conservation of linear momentum is written in our syllabus and this question is based on the conservation of linear momentum. Okay, next one, uh, this is a previous year question. Okay, so most of the question in our daily answer writing will be of previous year question okay now this question i will say it is a standard question right so this is a basic uh you can say the derivation of rocket motion in gravitation now let us quickly look at the question itself so consider the rocket motion in a gravitational field gravitational field is given here so we have to consider its weight right Drive an expression for its final velocity when the fuel burns at a constant rate till it's fully consumed. So these are two key points, gravitational field and constant rate that we have to keep in our mind. Constant rate of fuel burning, that means constant rate of change in mass, right? You can say the fuel burning or you can say the change of mass or change in mass. Okay. Now, look at its solution so let us quickly see what should we write we write in the introduction part okay so introduction part we should write that the motion of rocket rocket is was based on the principle of conservation of linear momentum. So this is the must line you should mention in the introduction part that the motion of the rocket is based on the principle of momentum conservation. So what does it happen? So basically fuel burns right what does it causes fuel burns causes excess pressure right and this excess pressure does what it result in a high velocity jet stream high velocity stream that we often call it at z right so fuel burns create excess pressure inside right and this pressure does what uh forces the back end of the rocket to move with a high velocity you can see here uh, like suppose this is our rocket let's suppose so what does happen the fuel burns here right and the jet comes out okay and it comes out with a very high speed Right. So when this one, when this portion moves this side with a very high speed, so what does it do? So based on the conservation of momentum, it will propel the rocket forward. Okay. So this will go backward and the rocket will go forward. So this is the basically the conservation of linear momentum or you can say the principle behind the rocket motion. So in the introduction part, you have to write the principle of rocket propulsion, right? You can write this method also, right? The fuel burns, which causes excess pressure and then high speed. So these you should write in four to five lines only, right? Now let's come the main part. So now let us consider we have a rocket okay 
and uh, let's distinguish the rocket into two parts. So let's at t time. Okay, you can use your own word. I'm just explaining you the concept. So let's suppose this part have to be exhausted, right? And this is the main part, and the mass of this part is m. And this part is delta m. Let's suppose. So the total mass of the rocket is what? Mass of the rocket, right? Or you can say the system here. What is the system here? The upper part and the lower part, right? Is what? M plus delta m. Okay. And now what happened at t equals to after a delta t, right? So after a small interval of time, what we can see that this rocket moves upward and this propelled moves downward. Okay. So now let us discuss some more thing. So let us assume U and U we define as exhaust velocity. U is what? Exhaust velocity. So what is exhaust velocity? It is basically velocity of expelled mass with respect to rocket. With respect to rocket. So now let us consider if the rocket in at this time is moving with velocity v upward. Okay. And just after a small interval of time, what will happen? The speed will increase V, let's suppose plus delta V. So what will be the speed of this one? So it will have a speed V plus delta V plus U, right? So these are written in the lab frame, okay? These are written in the what? Lab frame. These are in the lab frame. So U is what? U is velocity of expelled mass with the rocket. So in the lab frame, we can write it like this one. Okay. So now what we can write next. Okay. So if you can write the momentum at T, let me clarify one more thing. You can skip some of the mathematical steps. Calculation system, right? Like m plus delta m into v. So this was the initial momentum. You can see that m and delta m, and it has a velocity delta v. So this was the initial momentum. What was the final momentum? That is at t plus delta t, right? This is final momentum. What will? So it was m v plus delta v plus the expelled mass was having delta m. V plus delta V plus U, right? So you can say that delta P will become what? So we have to subtract final minus initial. So it will become M into delta V plus delta M delta V plus U, right? So at any instant, at any instant t, right? So what we can write, so we can write dp by dt is equal to what? Limit delta t tends to zero, m delta v by delta t plus delta m by delta t delta v plus u. Now, one more thing. You can just skip these step while writing answer, right? So just from this figure, you can reach up to this one that The rate of change in momentum, the rate of change in momentum of the system 
right is what you can say that m dv plus u dm by dt or you can write in terms of sorry like m dv sorry d by dt m dv by dt minus u dm by dt right you can write directly this one okay also let me clarify one more thing so here we have written dm by dt is equals to what minus dm by dt right the mass expelled out of the rocket is equals sorry the rate of mass expelled out of the rocket is what rate of uh, mass uh, remaining here or you can say that uh, the decrease in the sorry the increase in the expelled mass is equal to the decrease in the rocket mass right so we can write here also that rate of increase in expelled mass is equal to the what rate of decrease of mass of the system that we are considering right okay now we know that from newton's laws of motion that f external is what rate of change of momentum right we know that from what second law of motion do write these things okay from the second law of motion we know that this 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 okay and then after you can write that so we can write like this that what is the f external this is mg i am not considering any sign convention here so just write it down mg okay so it will be equals to what dm m dv by dt minus u dm by dt that we have written dv by dt okay now you can do one more thing you can write it like this dv by dt is equals to u by m dm by dt plus g now what we can do we can integrate these things okay so integration is very easy you know that how to integrate it so integrating above with respect to time do not write these abbreviation in examination this is just for your sake of convenience you can say with respect to time we will get vf right minus vo that is the initial velocity is equals to u ln mf the final velocity upon the initial velocity m not plus g tf minus t not no vector will not have sorry tf minus t not now we can see that at t equals to t not that is initial time equals to zero the rocket was at rest we have v not is equals to zero so this equation will become and let vf be v and above direction as positive i think it becomes clumsy here 
but you have to write these things okay so what we are taking at t equals to 0 it is 0 v0 and we are vf let it's considered v and above direction is positive so above is positive so downward is what negative now this equation becomes that we have to find that v equals to u ln mf upon m not minus g t so at any instant of time so we come to this thing okay now this was the main part of the answer so what should we write in the conclusion part so in conclusion part we can write t is what the burn time shorter the burn time greater the final velocity what we are doing we are just explaining these things so if we, we don't have anything in the conclusion part we should explain the result okay also one more thing what we can say higher the loss of mass that is what mf by m naught should be higher what it will be greater will be the final velocity also you can write higher the exhaust velocity that is what u greater will be the final velocity so what we are doing we are just explaining this result so we don't we have anything for the conclusion but so we are just explaining the part now quickly review this answer so we are given with this question what we have written in the introduction part the principle of the rocket propulsion how uh, on what principle it is based on and how that does it propel okay so it should be in the four to five lines next you should write like this we have a rocket having mass m plus m and something is coming out with exhaust velocity u vector right then you can skip this step and write directly up from this one okay then for using second law you can write this one right and then you can write, write in the conclusion part so if you have written introduction properly one mark if you have written the body part or the main question you can say five marks if you have written the conclusion right give one marks right so this is the full marks you can say right so we are normalizing 10 marks to what seven marks if you are if you are getting seven marks you are very good at writing this okay thank you and do post your answer in the website okay